Now, are fake social media accounts influencing the general election? Allegations about inauthentic accounts distorting online conversations are popping up across the web. Uh, as part of her undercover voter investigation, the BBC's disinformation and social media correspondent, Mariana Spring, has been tracking down people behind social media profiles, posting hundreds of Reform UK comments. And she joins us now. Mariana. Thank you so much. So have you been spotting comments repeating the same thing popping up on political social media posts? Are they real people or fake accounts? Well, I've seen this on my undercover voters feeds. The undercover voters are 24 fictional people I created based on analysis from the National Centre for Social Research, and they all have online profiles. The undercover voters are based in eight different battleground constituencies, and this week I've been looking at the social media feeds of the characters in Bridge End. Let me tell you a little bit about them. So. We have got uh, our first is Gavin. Uh, he's a right-leaning voter in his 60s. We've got 72-year-old Eleanor, who's a left-leaning Welsh nationalist. And we've got Lily, who's 18. She's much more into Taylor Swift than she is into politics. Now, what's been interesting to see is how comments on political posts recommended to Gavin have repeated this phrase, vote reform, whereas on Eleanor's uh, feed. There have been lots of these allegations that those comments uh, saying vote reform are actually uh, bots or not authentic accounts. I haven't seen comments repeated like this about other parties. So I identified dozens of accounts that could look fake or inauthentic. For example, with an anonymous username, without a picture, no followers or real friends, reposting the same phrases or pushing divisive content. One was called Gen Z Bloomer. This is their account, and some social media users suggested the account was based abroad, or maybe that it was a parody. The account told me that they are based in the Ainsley, England area, and gave me a British mobile number, but didn't answer any of my calls. They said they're a genuine account sent to help and support Reform UK, but a spokesperson for Reform said this profile wasn't connected to them, and that they'd been in touch with social media sites about accounts like this. I spoke to other real users behind these comments, including, for example, Martin, who wrote this. He told me he's just fed up with MPs and he wants to vote reform. So what have, what have Reform UK said about this and the social media companies? Reform told me that they're delighted about the organic growth of online support and said people wrongly think Reform UK supporters must be fake. But they also said some accounts are lying about who they are. I spoke to all of the social media companies. Uh, Meta says it doesn't allow users to create fake accounts or engage in inauthentic activities. TikTok says it aggressively counters interference. And X told the BBC it removes accounts manipulating the online conversation. Mariana, thank you very much. Mariana Spring there.